hello hello everyone welcome welcome you are watching stamp with michelle pippa independent stamping up demonstrator in auckland in new zealand thanks for joining me um just wait a few moments for people a few moments for people to um get on hello hello How's everyone doing? It's a beautiful summer's day in Auckland here, in New Zealand. I know, Northern Hemisphere people, sorry, you're in the cold. Um, but you know, the good thing is, when you're in the cold, I guess you're indoors a lot more. But I'm struggling here. It's our summer, it's a beautiful day, and I'm spending a lot of time outside, and I'm just not quite organized. <laughs> or stamping um, but here I am a little bit late um, and doing something a bit different today so uh, for those of you who are new um, I normally do a live on Wednesday at 1.30 uh, where I'll just demonstrate um, a couple of card making projects um, so if you love stamping if you are new to stamping I hope to um, be able to show you that it is quite easy to do um, and so uh, so I'm a stamping up demonstrator so I um, use stamping up products and I quite like that actually limiting myself to just the one brand and um, and at the moment we actually have a joining special during celebration um, so you can join my team it's always um, really good value to join um, because you pay $189 New Zealand dollars and you get $285 worth of products completely your choice of products um, so it's not like there's a standard starter kit that you have to get you actually get to choose what you want um, it just has to be up to $285 you can't go over one cent um, but you can go under obviously uh, yeah $285 and you only pay $189 but that doesn't stop there because then it's like all your orders or your um, stamping up supplies that you get from then on you get a discount of um, at least 20% so it's actually really good value and um, and at the moment during celebration which actually ends on the 29th of February so you still have time to join and get this special offer so the $189 is always um, that offer, but until yeah, so until the end of February, you get the celebration um, uh, special as well, where you actually get a glass mat um, and accessories for it. So have that all on the website. Um, I don't actually have the glass mat here with me to show you, um, but yeah, it's really good value. I think it's worth over a hundred dollars so you get that extra value when you join during celebration so let me know if you're keen if you want to know more about stamping up about joining um, let me know but hopefully if you keep watching then you get a sense of what we do right um, what can what you can do so let's flip you around and let's have a look at our projects today Just be patient, my phone does this. Takes some time, takes a while for it to um, flip over, even though, and so, I can't see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, well, here we go. It's flipped. There you go. So, today, I want to demonstrate, um, I want to give a nod to the Birthday Sparkle Kit, which is our current... Uh, our latest one of our latest we've got two uh, card kits that come out every month and this is one of them it's the birthday sparkle kit now I chose this because um, it's birthday and it's gold and it's significant for me because it's my birthday month actually it's my birthday on Sunday and it's a biggie so it's a gold one <laughs> so hence I was really chuffed when I saw that Stamping Up had brought this out in the month of February. So with our card kits, if you're not familiar with our card kits, uh, stamping up card kits, they come in a box like so, 
it's not very big. Um, do I have anything to show you for a reference? Oh, I don't have anything here that I can really see. Um, but you get you get a gist of it okay it's about this size so let's have a look if you are familiar with um cutting mats so it's not as big as that um anyway comes all handy here and depending on which cart kits like some are only stick and go um where you don't actually need any stamping at all but this one actually comes with um a, a block a stamping block um so and it has um, stickers like uh, sorry adhesive so these are like the double si uh, double sided and they're foam and these are also double sided but they're dots so they're kind of like equivalent of glue um, and then all the accessories all the things that you need uh, so they come with a little this one come with a little ink spot a little ink pad early espresso is the color and then all the supplies you need to make these all right so this kit you make three, uh, six cards, two designs, three of each. So six cards, and then you make six tags as well from this one card kit. And I'll, have, I'll show you what finished one looks like. Just let me pull this out here for now. So this is one of the tags. So cute. And you can easily make this into a card as well if you wanted to. Right, just get some cardstock. That's another card, so that's two, that's one card, one tag, um, and that's the other one, and look at this one, this is also another tag, isn't that cute, it's like a little cupcake, and then we have that card, so very sparkly, very cute, and very easy to do, so it all comes with instructions, so you get all the supplies that you need, to make these card and the envelope is actually um it's also gold it had gold gold foil um yeah, details as well which is quite cool so um, so that's what you get when you buy the card kit um i think this yeah i believe this is 49 dollars um the good thing is it comes with all these other supplies that you can carry on using so which is what i wanted to show um in today's class to go um, this video here so i'm going to put those aside and i am going to show you the little um, stamp set that comes with it so i'm not sure how well you can see it but basically it has a happy cake day one line um for the balloon string or I'm going to use it as a candle. We'll see how it goes. Or a sparkler. It's your birthday. And then there's these designs here for the balloons. And it's with yay. And then some um, confetti type thing. So with this. With this. Except I have the big one. So I'm not going to open this. I can keep this for as a gift for someone. I'm going to use my stamping pad. So we've got this. We've got this. Um, just know that you do have that ink that comes from in your kit if you buy the kit um, and I've got my own blocks so I'll use the blocks otherwise you've got the blocks that are supplied in the cart kit isn't it amazing um, so this is a great kit to get um, so I'm going to use the supplies as though um, I I've just wet it so that it's ready for me to use. 
and I'm going to use this little design. So, yeah. and I'll show you the card, right? So what um, set comes like this? There's these are all pre-cut out in the kit, and all you had to do was send them. So that's that's what that sample is for. Um, I'm going to use a big one, I think. I'm going to use a big one. Yep, I'll use a big one. So that's all right. So I've got a piece here, um, which measures. All right, did pre-do this a little bit. Uh, so that measures 10 across if you're crafting along 10 across and this is 14.2 centimeters in New Zealand we generally tend to work in centimeters although as a card maker and because our trimmer comes in both inches and centimeters I actually don't mind using imperial as well the inches um, but yeah for this I've done 10.2 and did I say? Gosh, I can't remember. Um, for sorry, fourteen point. Well, it's fourteen point two, and then it's ten. Ten by fourteen point two. Ah, it's a little eight. Okay. So I'm just going to do that now. Colors. Um, yes, I am actually using different colors. <laughs> Because I have all the supplies, right? And so I just want to show you how you can just um, really play along and get quite creative. Um, now, where did those colours come from? I think this is from Stamping Fancy Friday. There's a challenge on using blue, making blue cards. So I am going to use a whole bunch of blue. Uh, we have quite a lot of blue. So I'm going to pull out each one. There's a lot of blue, I'm not using all of them, but there's a gist. Ooh. And then we have yeah, there's a whole stack of them. Um, I might as well get these two out as well. Look at that. What a range of blues. And then we actually have one, two, three, four more that I could see over here, which we can use. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm just having fun here, so play along. Um, for each one, I'm just doing a balloon. I'm just going to do. Oh, okay. Let's see. No. Yeah. Okay. You see, you see why I need my um, cleaning bag because then I can clean between each color. So just going. Going in order, okay. Just in order of the way I have kept it. So, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, thank you. Time for you to catch up if you are watching live and crafting along. Oh, can I plug it here? Right. Uh, that happens. Next color. So just a variety of blue. So that was pool party. No, nope. pool party was before. This is balmy blue. All right, so what colours have we used so far? We've used Lost the Good. We've used pool party. We've used balmy blue. Um, just any colour really. I'm just doing a blue card, right? So just making sure I clean it. And then I'm basically creating my own designer series paper um, by stamping on a piece of white. You can actually stamp on other colours, cardstock as well, but I'm doing white okay, just to keep it simple. What colour are we doing? Azure Art. So you can kind of see the balloon shape, right? Um, So it's getting darker now, blueberry for sure. It's kind of quite dark, isn't it? I'm just trying to work out. I think. Wait, I 
was going for a gradual colour, but actually I might um, pull some different ones too. Go for Tahitian Tide. Trying to do it. Just trying to get a bit of like um, shade difference. Right there, and then we'll go for the blueberry bush shell. Oh, is it only a little bit? That's okay. So you've got that. Alright, let's colour that. Close all around. I'm making a blue card, but if you're just joining in, hello, hello. Love that sentiment. Oh, what sentiment are you talking about? Um, <laughs> I'm a bit confused, Nicolette. Alright, um, here we go. Thanks for joining me. What are you doing, lovely? Okay. Oh, it's quite similar to shape. That's okay. Boho blue. That was boho blue. Some of these pads are really juicy. So, um, this is quite similar in shape too. But, I'm really bringing out all the blues. Some, I think, there are 13 blues um, currently in our range, which is quite a lot. We seem to have a lot of blues and a lot of greens. Oh, I think. Ooh, they're very similar. Orchid Oasis. Well, they're not. You can tell it's more purpley with Orchid Oasis. Right. Um, and then... I go with this? Kind of like, maybe I'll bring in pretty peacock. I don't know, would you call this a blue? Or would you call this a green? Actually, I'm kind of making so yay! You're like, oh cool, what are you making? Oh, it's a problem with doing life. Um, uh, instead of a zoom, because I can't see. Because if we were doing zoom, you can show me what you're making. Ooh, see, I think it's more green. I don't know. What do you guys say? Do you think pea, pretty peacock is a blue or is it a green? Well, I'll tell you what. This one, my pool party, and close to the I call it blue, but I think a lot of people call it green. So, ooh, I don't know. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Now, did I do Starry Sky? I can't remember. Lost you guys there for a little bit there. Okay, last color, night of navy. Right, what do you guys think? Got my own DSP color. Uh, DSP, I mean, design series paper. Typical. All the different names you can give it. Oh, and I've got a stack of blue color, blue ink pads in the way now. I think your colours are gorgeous and pretty. Peacock definitely fits off. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my dear friend. How are you? It's a bit of a shame. It's just not the same. It's simple. <laughs> oh, I should leave that here. Just out of the way. Look at that. My whole stack of. Oh, wow. I'll put them all back together. I'll just put them on the carpet. Luckily, you can't see what's behind me, what's around me. You just, you just get this view. Um, okay, so what do we do next? Um, then I have pre-cut my blueberry bushel. So like I said, I'm going for a blue cut. So I'm just going to put that there. Going for simple, nice and simple. So we can kind of right now, we can glue this down. Right. So, as always, um, if you when you place an order with me this week, right through to next Tuesday, um, you get the card pads for this class for free from me. I'll send you 
two supplies for two of this card and two of the next card so you can recreate it at home. Okay, now I did have to cheat a little bit because as you can see there's not much to play with. Um, so I have kind of, I brought in the beautiful balloon stamp set and dies. Um, basically just to cut out, using the dies to cut out the balloon so I can have a balloon. Okay, um, so keeping it real simple, real, um, you know, keeping it with the design. So this is cut out in blueberry bushel and also the little um, strings that come from the same die set. Now, um, because it is cut out from the dies, I can actually supply this, right, in your cut kit. So if you don't have the stamp set or this bundle, that's fine. Um, in the cut kit, I will be able to give these to you because the only thing we're not allowed to do is stamped image. So I can't supply you any stamped image, but I can supply you die cuts. So I can give these to you. So that's there. And then... have a bit of gold and a strip here and I'm going to go happy cake day. So I'm going to do happy cake day and I will use blueberry bushels. So I'm keeping it. Same colour, same design. I could have used um, early espresso too if I wanted to. But remember I'm making a blue card for the um, Stamping Fancy Friday. That's what it was. Right, just that. And just that. And just like so. Yep. So I'm doing, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Because I wanted to add lots of gold. Um, I can stamp this. Yeah, I can do that. I'll show you more ways of using products right so we can leave it as that or we can now do this with Versamark ink and um, gold embossing powder here we go so i am having a thing with gold at the moment because that's the color for a 50th something 50th birthday 50th anniversary it's all gold all right so so if you see my cards lately in february in february not february um it's always got gold in there so done that so hence i think all the cards that i've shown this month have gold some sort of gold so this is just, I'm going to emboss this. So I have now, if you can see, I'm about to transform my plain balloon to a blue and gold balloon. How cool is that? Right here. Now I'm going to put that away. Hi, Vicky. going to be loud. Here we go. So hopefully you can see. Woo! Can you see it turn? Isn't this magical? It never grows old. never grows all this this um, magical process. There's a little bit of that there, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so now I have a fancy looking balloon. Yeah, I know it doesn't grow all eh? Nicolette, that's so cool. Always looking at it. And now it's um, now my card looks fancy. <laughs> 
Okay, just a little strip of like put flaggers. So little details here if you're a new sample. Um, just little things you can do to add interest to your cards. Like just flagging it. Oh, I should have turned it rubbish straight away. And right, just stick this down. On an angle because it looks like it's floating. Which it is. And then that will go in there. Here we go. Just to cover the gap there a little bit. And then this one I will use um, dimensional. So you will have dimensionals when you buy this car kit if you're a new sampler. Um, these car kits are really great because it means you don't have to buy a whole lot of supplies to get crafting. Um, just buy the kit and you are away. And you can slowly build up what you want. Like if you like the, you know, like this one comes with a little ink spot. And you find that you really like that colour. Um, it's versatile and you can use it lots. Then you might want to graduate to the big one. And then you can buy that. So, how cool is that? Ah, oh, it's stuck. There we go. Card number one. Nice and simple. Actually, should I stamp on the inside too? Um, why not? I've got one ready, so why not? I can stamp on the inside too. And happy cake day. So, yay, it's your birthday. How about that? It's your birthday, yay. <laughs> so I'm trying to use up all the, all the stamps that come. It's your birthday. Okay, be very appreciative. Yep, just go for that. I'm not doing it straight on purpose because sometimes it's good when you don't do it on purpose. Uh, when you on purpose, you don't want to do it straight because then um, what am I trying to say? You want it to do it straight, and it's not straight, and you are annoyed. Is your birthday? Yay. Okay. And then, here's some little squiggly things as well. Is more. Oh, Nick, I really want to see what you're making. But you can't show us. How do we do that? Maybe you, you can comment. Can you put a picture up on a comment? But I won't ever see it until after. Okay, here we go, cart number one. Okay, happy cake day. Alright, card number two. Um, let me tidy up a bit. Just clean up here. Okay, so we may need all this. It's a bit noisy. Alright, card number two. A bit oversized this card. Or an oversized card. Yep, so this is a black base. Um, what's the measurement? The height of this card is 20 centimeter. So normally I would do 14.8 centimeter. So that's that much bigger, taller. And um, but the width is the same, 10.5. Yeah, 10.5. So total of 21, and you just score it in half, 10.5, and fold it in half. So real simple. This one here, I have come up with. Well, stamping up official website, the stamping up um, create 
uh, what do you call it, designers, they actually have a challenge for us this month, uh, or was it this month or this week? They're two color swatches. Um, and so I have chosen this one. This is the, the suggestion. Um, sweet sorbet, flirty flamingo, um, pumpkin pie, and lemon lolly. Oh, you will see in time. Can't show you just yet. Oh, oh, one of those. Okay, so we've got these. Um, those are the four colours that came, uh, that was the suggestion. And then there is another colour swatch as well, which is more the blues and greens. Um, but uh, I'm not doing that one, so obviously just doing this one. So that was going to be my cake, right? So they're all the same width, I think, which is three and a half centimetres. Section, you see, I interchange between, yeah, three and a half centimetres. I know the other card I did do it in centimetres as well. So, and then this is 10.5 as in the width of this. All right, and then each one is one centimetre smaller. So that's 9.5, and then this one is 8.5, and this one should be 7.5. So just gradually going down by one centimetre, so that it's half centimetre on each side. Now, again, let's jazz this up. Um, because you know we can go like this and it'd be quite cute, but we just add details. So I've got circles, and this was where I was going to do that line, which is supposed to be the string for the balloon. Um, so I'm going to do that, and we're going to do the same. We're going to do gold. Um, yep, gold, gold, gold. So more magic to be seen. Um, where's the map? No, I've got two. I've got one pattern, two patterns. Ooh, okay, I could use that pattern, can't I? I could use that as well. Okay, and then I'll do. Okay, okay we'll do that. First, I'll do. Very rough here, there's no okay. So we've got that and then I'll do I'll do that so that it's a crisscross. Ah, I don't know if this will work. This is just what's in my head. And I think um, I think it will work. I think it will look alright. We'll see how we go. So I want to now make sure that I've got. Okay, I'm just covering it in gold. Oh, that's a line that's not supposed to be there, but hey, it will just add to it. Oh, I haven't left any room for um space for um handling. All right, so that. That one's done, but I will leave the um, embossing till I finish all this. Um, so if you're watching replay, um, this is a great time if you want to. You can just um, what do you call it? I want this one here. I think. No, I want confetti out there. I think. Ah, oh, see, I'm so undecisive. Forward it. That's what I was trying to say. If you are watching replay, so hopefully you see some ideas on how to um, use the stamp set that you will be left with. I'm just adding a little bit more because there's two gaps there that I don't like. Probably doesn't matter. Here we go. That's a bit better. And then this one. Hmm. Okay, I think I've. 
don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Just line with confetti. Changing. It's a bit hard to see what I've done. Because this is um, clear ink. Vestimark is a watermark. It's a clear ink. Can't really see what you're doing. Ah, got to. I think that's alright. It's a bit random. So there's a theme for today's project. Oh, I keep getting that line. How annoying. See that line? Um, I'm going to use this. Another tool. still there but it's better okay so that's the that part of that tool okay so we've got that now we've got final one and I'm going to use that again and this one maybe I'll just leave it as I don't know what shall I do oh well I'll just do Diagonal lines. Let's see. Yeah. Ah, handling this. Funny, isn't it? Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing, do you? <laughs> That's cool. I can just leave it there. Just showing. It's just the idea, right? I just wanted to show you how yeah, just make your own little designs. Um, and little stamp sets like this, don't just spice it, you can actually be um, quite creative with it. So let me just grab that. It gets hot. Yeah, I have to stop it because it gets cold. Uh, it gets hot, really hot. Okay. Is that one fully done? So hard. I can't touch it. Right. Right. Oh, I love this. Don't you love this? It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, that blue, uh, flirty flamingo and gold. Yep, the winning combination. Anything with gold. It's pretty cool, eh? Right. I think that one's a bit too Right, here we go. 
seven o'clock days. So now we've got these patterns. Okay, let's resume what we're doing. So I've got that. I'm just going to leave that. I've got something else to show you there. So this is straightforward. Alright, so now we're going to just uh, actually. I also want to emboss this bit, this bit here, and then I will cut out some yarn. Right, so the stars come from, we have a, a, quite a few die set that have um, other elements in it, um, which include stars. So there's actually quite a few die sets that have stars on them. So all I did was just when heading and cut out one, and that was going to be my okay. I'm just kind of going to aim to center it, and it's probably not centered, but here we go. It's all right. Okay, and this might not work very well. Oh, how does this go? Let's see. Try not to make a mess in my workspace. Right. See? I've got gold dust everywhere. Gold embossing powder everywhere. There we go. It's a rough job, but you know, you can lay here. So that one. So work out. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And do it right at the bottom. And then my flirty flamingo. Oops. Liquid glue is my um, Blue choice, always, and then pink. I oh, know. So we've got sweet sorbet. Then we've got um, flirty flamingo, and then we have pumpkin pie, and then we have lemon lollies. L lemon lolly. No, I keep putting S at the end of all my words. What is up with that? Right. So we've got that, there we go, and then finally a dot, a, a star. And there we go, we have the outside of the card, and I have some more little trick to show you. So that one's up. So, just making that, and... Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like this is a bit, I don't know, does it need to come down a bit more? Maybe, yeah, maybe come down a bit more. What do you think? Nice and simple. Now we're just going to add a bit more detail. Okay, good. Interest. So I've got two layers here. Um, this is going to go on here. Um, and what I wanted to show you was um, this technique. So what, what colours do we use? We use sweet sorbet. Let me grab the sweet sorbet out. Okay, I'm going to put that out of the way. So I'm going to do this technique. I don't know what you call it. Um, okay, so I've got that. And I don't mind that it is splotchy. That's fine. Sweet sorbet, flirty flamingo was my next colour. Um, let me go like this. So I'm overlapping it. It's fine. I want to overlap it. Right. And then I want my next colour. 
couple of pumpkin pie. So this whole pad. Yes, as a demonstrator, over many years I have collected all the colours. So I do have all the colours of stamping out. Right, so we've got that. Doesn't look like much, but that's okay. Ah, uh, lemon lolly. Mm, that's the light colour. Probably should have done that first. Just making sure that it's dry. Our colours do dry really quickly. See, there's nothing in there. Okay, and then it's going to go like this. And like this. So then, that's going in there. Oh, what am I going to do with that little gap? I don't want that gap. No gaps. Okay, let's just put that in the middle. Yep. Um, in fact, I could just colour this. This is lemon lolly. Just a little bit. So, got all the tools. So we've got markers for each ink as well, each colour ink. Alright, so then I will glue this down. So I was trying to create some consistency between the inside of the card and the outside of the card. So hence I thought I should try this and then that will go on there like so. So you get this idea on the inside of the card as well, except we've gone the other way. Sweet Sorbet was down, and I've done Sweet Sorbet out there. Oh well, it's all good. No worries. I can do that. Um, and then on the inside, let's have a little sentiment. Happy Cake Day. Okay? We can do that, can't we? And what colour? I will do it in Sweet Sorbet. That leaves me plenty of room to write. Um, happy cake day. Oh, I know. That's what I wanted to do. My other my idea was to actually have happy cake day stamped all over the white, uh, all over the black, and um, in person, I think, so that it's. Um, and then using clear embossing powder so that it's actually got details in there. Oh, I forgot that. Mm -mm. Oh, well, there we go. That's what happens when you don't write things down. And you don't follow and you're relying on memory. Cool. Happy cake day. That's cool. That's it. Two cards. Now, because this is uh, an oversized card, then you probably need a oversized envelope. You can. Let me just um, be back in a sec. Let me see. So the DLE packs, like just the business envelope. Yeah, it will fit in there, I believe. Yeah, so it will fit in there. So you can actually use this. So yep, so that is all good. Um oh now it's stuck. Who can I there we go? So that's one birthday card. It's kinda Oversized, a little bit bigger. Um, let me send that to you. Right, so remember if you, when you order, when you place an order with me this week, right through to 
Tuesday next week, which would be the 20th, 26th, 27th, 27th, including the 27th um, of February, you will get uh, the cart supplies to make these carts. You will get two supplies to make two of these carts and supplies to make two of this. And um, that will be my free gift to you for placing an order with me this week. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, um, to just, you know, like giving you ideas on how to um, use the stamp set that comes in this card kit. And this card kit, by the way, is you get the two cards and the two... Where did it go? Well, I don't know what happened to my... I showed it before at the beginning, so it's here somewhere. But I have no idea where it is. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. It was the, the muffin, the cupcake um, design. It was this design. Okay, so, in fact, if you're not... I have coffee and cards tomorrow. Um, on Thursday at West Auckland at one of the cafes and you will be making one of each of these um, for your coffee and card. So you'll get, for $20 you'll get coffee, you'll get a small coffee and small um, cabinet food which tends to be muffin or scones and then normally you get to make two cards with me um, but we're playing with this kit, um, so you'll get to make one of each of this. So I have limited space, um, but if you are keen to come along, let me know and I'll see if I can. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you probably saw that and noticed that, but I didn't. Oh, well, that's silly. That's silly. Yeah, so you'll be making these tomorrow, coffee and cards, um, and I will show the sample of these for what you can do with the same step. All right, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you um, got some ideas. Um, and uh, but make sure, don't just let them be ideas, use it so you remember it. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next